This is a short talk on the vacuum insulated evaporator. This can be abbreviated in textbooks to the VIE. So how does the vacuum insulated evaporator work? So we have oxygen in a vacuum insulated tank seen here. The critical temperature of oxygen is minus 118 degrees. So therefore, the temperature of the liquid oxygen inside the tank is kept between minus 150 degrees centigrade to minus 170 degrees centigrade. We have a pressure gauge at the top of the machine and the pressure within this tank is kept between 700 and 1000 kilopascals. If the ambient temperature is high or there is low oxygen demand, the pressure in the tank will increase. Therefore, we have a blow off valve which is activated at 1500 kilopascals. This will therefore reduce the pressure of the system. If we have a high demand of the system, the pressure within the tank will drop. So therefore, we have a pressure raising vaporizer here and a control valve that will only let the oxygen pass once a pressure of 1000 kilopascals has been reached. We then here have a heat exchanger which increases the temperature of the oxygen to ambient temperature and a pressure regulator here that reduces the pressure of the oxygen to 400 kilopascals. Therefore, the pipeline pressure of oxygen is at 400 kilopascals. We also have a cylinder backup here. This pressure gauge, as I just discussed, should read 400 kilopascals. And then the outflow of oxygen here leads directly into the pipeline. Thanks for watching.